Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Mary. And this is Greg and Mary's RV Adventures. Our last video, Greg promised, well, he didn't promise, said that he might show you something from his brother's house. So this video, you'll get to see exactly what he was talking about. You wanna mention the flag? And for my siblings that are watching, the flag behind me is from my dad's ship from World War II. It was the USS Jacob Jones. Len had it framed and it's hanging in his back room. It's very nice. And you see it's weather tattered too. It's right off the back of the ship. Uh, we're uh, in a quiet room away from the granddaughters. They're a little noisy. So that's why we're in this environment today. So uh, this, this, this video Here we is, go again. <laughs> this video is from Greg's brother's place in Fountain Hills, Arizona. It's a really nice town. You'll see a lot of cool things that we did there. Um, and Greg will yeah, say it's a, more. It's a little bit, yeah, thanks, dear. Uh, it's uh, shorter than most videos, which is good because we suspect the next one, the one we make for uh, our stay here at my son's house, uh, will be longer. It may even be two, because we've been here three weeks. It will um, be three. It will be three weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, this won't be posted until the first weekend in January or so. Yeah, January. January sometime. So, uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Traveling across the country, Mary and I stopped at many campsites, did a lot of hikes, and we're always out looking for wildlife while we're out hiking. Uh, we posted some pictures of various hikes. But at my brother's place in Fountain Hills, Arizona, we came across three that we have not seen before, probably more exciting than the badger back at Round Hill State Park. So it's Saturday morning and Fred, my brother and I are getting ready for a uh, gathering he's gonna have on Sunday. And uh, we're stringing lights and Fred was uh, taking an extension cord uh, behind some hedges to plug it in behind the garbage can and almost stepped on this fellow. I would have stepped on him. I would never have seen him. Fred said to me to call 911, and I did. And probably within less than five minutes, uh, this fellow showed up, took care of the matter. Oh, cold. Oh my God. Can I take a picture of him in there? Well, there's this, there's this, there's this guy I don't what? like. If he doesn't jump out, don't like. jump he's out, just... Mary. He oh, he'll be in the video. There you go. Um, All right. What are you doing? I'm guessing that's one of the joys of living in Arizona. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. The uh, second encounter happened a couple mornings later on my morning walk. I usually walk about an hour and I just cut onto the road and this fella happened to run right in front of me. Uh, glad he wasn't hungry. The fountain at Fountain Hills first ascension was on December the 15th, 1970. The fountain operates every hour on the hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, drawing from a 33 acre million gallon lake and reaching a height of 330 feet with only two pumps. On special occasions, the fountain can attain 560 feet with all three pumps running. In the event of winds exceeding 10 miles per hour, the fountain will not operate. While we were walking and enjoying the, the park area and the fountain and so forth, and the many sculptures and plant life they had there, we noticed some people uh, gathered around this one area looking up into the tree. So, of course, we had to stop to see what the heck was going on. And lo and behold, we came across our third encounter. Check it out.
It was around lunchtime, so I think he was looking for his lunchtime meal. I think he ended up getting something later on. For dinner that night, we stopped at Saddle Bronc Cafe, uh, Saloon, I think, for their special that night, uh, walleye. It was very good. Unfortunately, it was very crowded and we were not able to take pictures. Greg, it's not a cafe. It's not a saloon. It's a grill. Damn. On the way back from dinner, we drove through in the main street of Fountain Hills and took in all their holiday decorations. It was quite lovely. Uh, it was very nice. We enjoyed it very much so. During our visit, my brother suggested we stop and see this McDowell Mountain Regional Park, uh, very close to his house, probably within seven or eight miles. Uh, it was a great park, uh, lots of spacious sights. I'm, I'm thinking maybe around 45. He tells me the night sky is just incredible there and you can see some wildlife, maybe even more than his house. So uh, we stopped by and if we can, we're gonna try to book for the, some time there on a the trip home. Hmm. A bobcat here and a badger in the next slide. I don't think they're related to the ones we saw traveling across country. It's time for the 2024 Farmer's Almanac Tip of the Week. This is about my sixth or seventh take for this tip already. I think Greg's gonna do them next year. This is some information about most people. So let's see if you're average or not. 3 p.m. is the time of day that most people feel less energetic. Four hours is the number of extra hours people say that they need in a day to get everything done that they plan to do that day. And five is the number, the average number of items on your to-do list that you never got done that day. So do you fit in with most people or not? Let us know in the comments below. Take three, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. The next video hopefully will be at a, from our son's house in Redondo Beach, California. See ya.